Hi everyone. I'm back with a quick share today of a few more Arteza products. Um, the great people at Arteza have sent me their uh, cutting mat, their rotary cutter, and some replacement blades. Um, and I'm going to put it to the Mrs. Cog junk journal test. I use my old mat and blade, which are on its last legs, um, far past far past its prime, and uh, I, I'm really happy to try this out. I'm going to try it on cutting medium weight chipboard, which is what I often use for what I call my hardcover journals. I'm going to try it on some cotton fabric, some canvas, and some upholstery. And these are the main things that I use to uh, cut with a rotary cutter, and we'll see how Arteza stands up to it. So let me get these open and uh, we'll get right to it. I've unpackaged the blade and put it into the rotary cutter. Um, I neglected to mention in the opening shot of this that um, the bundle of the mat and the rotary cutter also comes with this fabulous clear plastic ruler that is six inches by 24 inches. And I love these. Um, there are so many times when my wonderful little Tim Holtz ruler just isn't quite long enough for a project that I'm working on and I need to be able to see through the ruler to, to mark at the edges of things and uh, this will give me that extra leeway so that is a huge convenience. I'm going to take this clear ruler and uh, I'm going to take my chipboard and I want to get you in frame here. I want to mark this at nine inches so I can easily line that up there. Make my nine inch mark there and at the bottom. And then I am going to try to turn this and cut this. Usually I like to use a ruler with cork on the back such as this one, because cork does not slide, whereas this may. But let's give this one a try and see how easy it is to hold in place. I'm not so much worried about lining up my uh, chipboard with the grid because I'm going by the marks I made rather than, rather than I never move the ruler until I see if whatever I'm cutting has detached so I can go over it again. And I rarely get that cut in two swipes. So these are nice, sharp blades. I like that. And it gave me a nice, clean cut. That's great. So I'm going to take this 9 by 12 piece I have now. I'm going to make a mark at the five and the seven inch. I get you in frame there. And I'm having no problem holding this plastic piece in place as a guide for cutting this. There we go. There's one side. Another. So that quite easily cut what I need for the cover of a journal. And uh, I'm quite pleased with that. Let's get some fabric out and see, see if it works as conveniently. For my next portion of uh, 
the cutting, I'm going to take this piece of, I'm going to call it upholstery. It, it is an upholstery-like fabric. And I need to cut a piece of this out that is 11 by 15. right up on the mat. Let me just zoom you out a bit here so you can see what I'm seeing. So, if we assume that we're not going to be able to use the selvage, and I will measure 15 inches over uh, from where where the design actually begins. Yep, let's go this way. And this is what I will do. 15 inches is there from the selvage. I'm going to take my cork ruler and put it right at the edge here. Now I just want to slide over so I don't bump the camera. I just want to slide this down a bit and make sure 15 is here and that the ruler is still at 15 the whole way. Yeah, that's going to work the whole way. So I know I'm going to want to come down about 11 inches here. So I'm just going to come over here, the bottom of this ruler, and cut right along there. Wonderful. And then, without moving a thing, I am going to, actually, my, my planner is out of camera here. I can slide this under my planner. Make sure that this is 11 inches or more down. It is. Good. That will still give me 11 inches. And there we have it. And I, <laughs> I made it just a smidge above 11 inches so that I could even up that side. And of course, I'll, I'll even up that side. And that was really super easy to cut. So upholstery, it works quite well for that too. And what I've pulled out next is a really cool cotton print with some faded, distressed book print on it. And I want to cut it in uh, two-inch strips um, across rather than up and down so that I can cut smaller pieces to fold in half and use as tabs on several journals I'm going to make. So what I want to do first is to... Um, even up the end of it here. Am I in frame? Yes. It's so funny on my old on my old one the button works the other way for the shield. This pulls pulls down. There we go. And I've got this uh it's layered back and forth four ply, so there's actually four pieces of cotton here. I'm going to bring that right over. Yeah, I'll do two inch. That'll be fine. And again, I can see right through where my edge is and know that that's lined up there to put my ruler just where it needs to be. Again, you want to test it before you move the ruler there. And this did come up right away. 
and I can run that right through the iron, but it gave me a nice, easy two inch strip. So I, I do not have the uh, pieces that I'm gonna back with the canvas that I got out to, to cut them at this moment. I am uh, super pleased with, with the Arteza stuff and especially because I have been pricing just the mats alone um, in the craft stores recently. Forget the, the blades and, and the, uh, the rotary cutters, which are really quite pricey. And uh, the mat alone, the most inexpensive mat that I saw actually cost more than this entire bundle of the uh, the ruler, the mat, and and the extra blades. Um, and this also has a grid pattern on the other side as well. So I, I gotta say, I am really happy with this. Um, and if you're in the market for getting some new cutting tools, definitely check out Arteza. I will put their link below the video to, uh, to where you can pick this up and yeah, I will be getting a lot of use out of this. So thank you Arteza and thanks everyone for popping in today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.